Welcome back, folks. Yet another Zero Takedown Ghost. Time, Grease Scotsman, and we just escaped the ponds in the last video installment, and now it's time to head to Taiyong Medical. Taiyong shuttle Van Bruggen talked about and ride it to their factory. Jensen out. And honestly, this is where I feel like the sex human revolution really starts to pick up and shine with stealth gameplay. So this next level is an absolute gem. Our best chance of doing this is to modify ocean temperatures through a combination of iron sealing and geothermal magic. Malik, any word from Pritchard yet? I'm right here, Jensen, staring at a blueprint of the Tai Yong Medical Building. Great. I need access to a security as usual. In the it's always good to tower. rob people. You blind. do realize there's an entire skyline between you and it, don't you? I know. Bangu. Any idea how I get to it? I suggest you start by going up. So here you have a nice mixture of interacting and trying to dodge guards, uh, walking through some safe zones and then dodging all kinds of uh, cameras and other security measures. So, really nice mix of gameplay in this section. And, of course, I'm always looking for... You know, I, I can almost never imagine passing a set of shells without anything there to pick up, so... I'm surprised whenever shelves are empty in this game, to be honest. One thing I start doing is um, realize that watching me hack stuff isn't probably that interesting. So I start to cut those. <laughs> you! Help! I can't really imagine anyone needing a tutorial on how to hack a terminal, so. At least not at this point in the game. So yeah, you have an option here to help this guy or to uh, let him die. I, of course, we'll choose to help him do. out, because oh, that's the kind of person God. I am, at least in this playthrough. Now, one thing I want to mention that I don't do is um, one of the benefits of saving this employee is that you can uh, then get some information from him if you move to some boxes that are near him. If you go and actually talk to him, he will kind of call ahead and give you some additional access. However, I wanted pretty much the least amount of access you could have as you enter this um, portion of the facility because I want it to be challenging. And so now that he's safe, I'll actually show you where you can you can roll through and just move those boxes, crawl underneath, and you can go talk to him if you do want to make this um, opening portion a breeze. I'll close the door on myself there. You can also open the door that's uh, directly behind me in order to leave that room. But, or you can just go around. No big deal at all. You'll see the door on my right here. I'm surprised I didn't hack it, but at this point, I'm... I Where really do you think you're so going, buddy? I have points I could care this less. This is a restricted area. So here, you can bribe a guy and bluff a guy, and if you talk to the guy that you saved... Uh, then you also Agent have an option to basically over. say, I was told there was a faulty pipe leaking you know, toxic gas around here. But hey, you owe the guy I just saved a favor. Me. Toxic let gas. Me pass. Nobody told me. So I decided to I bluff. Guess, I guess it wouldn't hurt to have you check things out up here. But just up here, you got it? I see you sneaking down those stairs, you're in trouble. Whatever you say, man. Well, you won't, you won't see me sneak down the stairs, man. Don't worry. Now, one thing I'll mention is I'm when you wait for the guy to function. leave here, Anything when you hack this panel, Oh, when I get around to hacking the panel, you don't want to move the bridge yet. You want to go up and grab the stuff that uh, is in its first location before you send it on to the next location. So, uh, the guard won't ever come back up, so you can hack this. You can spend all the time you want hacking it. You don't need to do anything quickly. So here, yeah. Uh, you don't want to move the catwalk, you just want to go up first and run across it. Because you get some goodies, plus I think 400 XP for just running up here, so... It's pretty nice. And I have the uh, extended sprint simply because I'm lazy. 
I don't want to keep pressing the damn button. So yeah, 300 XP for the Pathfinder. Yeah, that's what it was. But that's still pretty good. 300 XP for just running up here. And you also get some codes. So definitely worth it. And then I also get a uh, Pocket Secretary. And you get yet another access code. Which we'll never use. We hack everything around here, if you haven't noticed. I'm not really sure why I crouch all the time. I've just gotten used to doing it. So now we've moved the catwalk down to its further location. And if you have the fall safely augment, this route is for you. So yeah, that's another 300 XP. So pretty much you've just gotten 600 XP in a matter of seconds for just running and stealing shit, so cover our tracks. Fall hazard danger. We oui. Alright, so here's really where it starts to become pretty fun in this section. Now, I'm, I'm looking at the mini-map. I'm looking for a guard that tends to path. And I spot him at the far end there. He's kind of looking away. I want to make sure that he hasn't started a certain movement. There's another guard as well, and I'm trying to pick up a beat on him. But I decide, you know what, I'm just going to go. You know, what's the worst that could happen? I get spotted and killed, right? Minor, minor details. I'm still looking for him. And now I'm waiting for the camera to move back. Looks pretty good. There is a guard that paths over here, though, so you need to be careful. And I'm actually almost caught by him. You'll see him rounding the corner in just a few seconds up ahead. Right about... There he is. Yep, he's rounding the corner now. And I'm like, oh shit, go camera, go. I need to move. And we're through. So next section, you're going to wait quite a long time for this guy because he pretty much starts... Um, right about where he is now, but he won't wait long enough for you to get past. I don't think. Maybe so. Who knows? Either way, you can duck in, duck inside of the room on the right that I passed, but uh, I was pretty much hell-bent on just getting through this section. And, uh... So yeah, nothing... I'm looking for stuff to pick up and steal. My old, uh, klepto tendencies there. So yeah, so, you know, that's the first segment. Richard, I'm in an elevator leading to the Pangu. Any security features I should know about ahead? Nothing too taxing, I suspect. The so now we don't deal with guards anymore. Now we storage. deal with a few traps. Look for a second elevator once you're there. And, uh, It'll carry you straight into the tower. You know, things like electrified water. whatnot. Pretty easy stuff, though, to be honest. Couple of... I'm, I'm looking for anything hidden underneath these boxes. My spidey sense is not really tingling too well. Usually I just randomly start picking up boxes and I find stuff underneath them, so. Alright, so hack your way through here. You get uh, a nuke virus, which is always nice. Now in this room, you'll see ahead of me there's a breaker. And of course the electricity is kind of going all funky, so. If you turn that breaker off, you won't have to deal with the um, electrified water up ahead. There's also a vent. I want to go hack the other door. Oh, sorry. I already... Never mind, you don't need to hack that one. I just want to steal crap, that's what it is. I'm all about stealing stuff. Alright, so turn off the breaker. Oh, turn off the breaker. There we go. And I wanted to point this out. I want to get the Traveler update. I wanted to point out this route and... I'm like, ah, oh, there's a dead guy. <laughs> Someone stuffed a scientist down a vent shaft. Oh, looky here. Somebody threw away a perfectly good white boy. So, let's make our way through the boxes. With a jump augment, you can actually take a couple of different routes. Just hopping over all this stuff, but... I wanted to show a route that you could take without the bouncy bouncy to your feet. Head up the ladder, and you're pretty much done with this section, but it is worthwhile if you want to play the next portion on easy mode... 
Uh, there's an access card. So, run around and steal stuff, very important. Grab a traveler bonus just by moving that thing and coming in here behind these lockers. And, you know, I, I have so much freaking XP that I'm out of... I'm out of abilities that I want, so... I think at this point I have eight spare practice points that I'm not even going to spend. Alright, so here's, uh... Here's where this dead doctor is, and this is kind of an important thing. If you want easy mode, he has an access card. And by the way, you get 400 XP for Trailblazer. He has an access card. But once you take that access card, then everyone will be friendly to you, pretty much, for the next section. You can walk around in the restricted areas like nothing. So I opt to not get it, because it just made this way too easy, and I was kind of disappointed, to be honest. Um, I accidentally just hit take all and during one of my playthroughs. That's why there was a dissolve there. I was switching to another uh, set of video. I got all the way to that um, to the next area, and I'm like, why? Why are these guards friendly to me? This makes no sense to me. And then I realized I had an access card. So, just uh, throwing that out there. There's another place you can also pick up another access card a little bit later in the level in case you missed that one, but quite frankly with all the XP that you get just by simply going there, you might as well. So we head up to the upper part of the Pengu. Jensen, what is it you're looking for exactly? Some kind of surveillance recording. Van Bruggen said he stashed it on a server somewhere. He must have meant the data core room. Very high security. It'll be a couple of floors up from where the elevator lets you off. But the first corridors you'll pass through will be public, so you might want to keep any weapons concealed. Yeah, I won't be keeping weapons concealed when I play my Rambo playthrough. Alright, so here's the important thing. Fraxis points out the butt. Ghost and smooth operator. Earned. 2500 X, uh, XP. So easy peasy. Good times. Here you can just run around like a crazy man. Um, this is a friendly section. No one's gonna bother you. You can this walk right past guards. Pretty much, you just can't punch him in the face. Yet. So, um, I'm gonna go show where the other access card you can retrieve happens to be. Pull these boxes down. Pop up. They make a nice little stairmaster for you. And right in this room, on top of the table here, there it is. That's the access card. So you want to... I'm trying to make sure I don't pick it up. <laughs> uh, there's also a security terminal, but there's a guy across the hall. He will spot you if you try to hack it. So just a word to the wise. Don't get spotted. Cover your tracks as you leave. And... Um, now you're just going to make your way through some offices. And uh, I, I'm coming out of this section. And it wasn't restricted, which is kind of good, because there's a guy right there. I'm like, hi, sir. How you doing? So I'm just waiting for this asshole to leave. Go away, sir. Pay no attention to me. I'm just going to edge my way to, the, to this door for no reason. No reason at all. And we're off. Okay, so you notice that the guards just turned gray on the mini-map, or radar, or whatever you want to call it. So, they are now hostile to me. I am in a restricted area. So, I'm looking for shit to steal. Like, there's gotta be something. No, nothing. Really? That's amazing. These people aren't quite as careless as everyone else in this game, but leaving their valuables out. Maybe my reputation precedes me. Access so, granted. yeah, definitely hack your way through that. I mean, look at that. Uh, nuke, stop, some credits, and script kitty, and I think you got some extra XP there, so. Crazy stuff. Definitely worth your time. Uh, at this point, there's a, there's a vent ahead. Just making my way through, grabbing everything I can. And... So now we head inside, cover our tracks. And this vent lets you out, and while it might be tempting to go punch the security guards in the next room in the face, which I will be doing as soon as I'm done with this playthrough, 
uh, you actually want to head out into the laboratory after you hack this poor bastard's computer. Access granted. Alrighty. So you have a security office essentially to my right. And I'm, I'm looking at the guard on the uh, on the radar. I'm looking for him. I know he's up there somewhere. So I, you know, realize the guard is over on another... Yep, there he is. Yep, there's the one. I realized that he was not uh, in another position where he's actually... His other pathing location is over to my left. So that's why I was kind of being cautious. Now this scientist that's walking around, if he spots you, he will kind of freak out since I'm not authorized to be here. So you got to kind of be careful to hide from him. Um, he won't necessarily set off an alarm, but he will kind of be afraid of you, I think. Although I think maybe on my other playthrough I might have had my stun gun out for some reason. So maybe he got a little upset about that. So we're going to wait for this guard to path over. Or we're going to cut some footage, either way. And you pretty much just have one guard and a camera to worry about. We're going to make our way behind some boxes. Pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, we're not quite to the area that I think is really fun yet. We're getting there, though. We're getting pretty close. Got some ammo there if you need it. I don't plan on shooting a gun, so what can you do? And just hop over these boxes. Make sure the camera's not looking at you as you make the hop, by the way. And as soon as the camera pans over, you can SWAT turn over because the guy's not facing. So now you just wait for him to path one more time and wait for the camera, and you're through. The purchase gives Taeyong a significant increase in global market share. This is Eliza Kassan. So you're back into yet another section where everyone's friendly to you. We've been getting a lot of doesn't make any about the temperature in the data core. Doesn't make any sense to be honest. No, too cold. But we've gone up at least one floor. I think there's too much air We're about to go up another. One of the vents. I have a check out. So you get a little hint that maybe there's a vent nearby. Imagine that. So yeah, security bots abound in this section. If you set off an alarm, they will come out and, and uh, punch you in the nuts. Those two guys are guards, man. They're guards. Alright, so got a few opportunities to be klepto here. I'm passing this office on purpose. Uh, that right there with the camera and the one guard is your objective for this area. That's where you want to get into. Go in here and steal some stuff. Circulate. Accusing CEO Ollie McTavish of embezzling. The purchase gift. And... So you head back across the hall. Pay no attention to me, sir. I'm just going to... <laughs> I'm just going to slide across the floor. That's not weird behavior at all at the workplace. I do that all the time, to be honest. It's, uh, Access granted. You know, in fact, my boss requires it. So you hop in here, hack some stuff, grab some XP, grab some credits. So yeah, this is actually a really nice email. You get the list of next targets that uh, Tai Young Medical plans to demolish. And here's a little overview of the map, just in case, I don't know, in case that was useful. I always like to try to share the map once or twice. But this is one thing that kind of annoys me. Where do you I think you're going? The data core right room is for authorized personnel only. Even though I'm you're not going to go get in there. I was looking for the cafeteria. Sorry. I haven't yet found a way to get to this hallway right here where I'm at without talking to that guy. I would love to find a way to do that because it's annoying. It's annoying that I have to, you know, he's going to remember me. I must kill him. No, actually, I won't. I won't. But uh, definitely thought about it. A little sniper rifle. Oh, maybe not from this angle. Hello, sir. 
Ah. That darn elusive cafeteria. Go away. And oh, you're still here. All right. Time to go. Actually, time to hack, excuse me. Yeah, there are lasers in my way. It'd probably be a good idea to, to take care of those. So, uh, I'm just making sure that that guard doesn't ever look around. Fortunately, he just stares out into, you know, whatever is directly in front of him. So, you can hack with Reckless Abandon. You do have to be somewhat zippy, but it's, you know, what, four nodes? That's nothing. You got plenty of time. There's a, just wait for the guard to come back. And here's pretty much where the level starts to get really fun. I'm trying to get an idea of his timing. He's about to come back. And yeah, from here on out, I absolutely adore this level. And here's why. So a few key things. So much as you might want to ride his ass, which there are very few times will I ever suggest that someone ride someone else's ass, at least publicly. And, um... That's not one of them, because as you saw, he sort of does this weird U-turn. Uh, I, <laughs> you know, I think his batteries are broken or something. But yeah, he definitely is all about the U-turns and button hooks, man. So watch out for that. And now you have two guards to worry about. There's one guy with the minigun. Or I think that's what it is. I don't know. He's a big fat ass waddling with a gun. What can you do? And then there's one other guard that you can see on the radar. Uh, before I cut the footage, actually. Before I cut the footage, there's one guy. I'm pretty much right where my crosshair is pointing. So, got to be careful of his pathing. I'm going to peek around the corner and look for him. I know he's coming back. You don't have a lot of time to do this. And, oh, there he is. There he is. Turn the corner. And from here, you're safe. So, I'm going to cut out quite a bit of footage because this guy's pretty slow. And wait for him to path back. He will check on the door that you're about to hack. And now you can go hack it. And you should have enough time to get this done. Uh, he does come back, but unless you're like really slow at hacking, you'll be just fine. Access granted. All right. So that's through. And now you're into the main security room. And uh, the first time I saw this, I was like, oh, this will be fun. <laughs> it actually isn't that bad. Um, it, it might seem a bit overwhelming if you start watching the lasers. Uh, it... It might look confusing, but the main thing you want to see is every point behind cover, you can notice you're pretty much clear from at least one angle. So make sure you're ducking and just grab cover and wait. And you do have to watch out because there are a few horizontal beams that are on the lowest level, but there is not one over to my left. So I'm just waiting for the next sweep. Somewhere the next sweep. I'm like, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. And of course, this one you have on the uh, ground level, you've got laser beams on both sides of this block. So, time to go up and over. And this is a safe spot. So, yeah, I'm going to head over to the, the back end of the room just to sort of show you that there is a vent route for those that want to go punch guards in the face from a safe position. I'm going to hop over to that security office there. So, um, yeah, I, I'm pretty much skirting the, the lasers on my right, so I'm shift over just a little bit. And you want to try to time it so that the laser is not coming back as you turn this corner. Because you do have to uh, stick your butt out a little bit, so you are a bit of a fat ass, and you will set off an alarm if you're hugging that edge. Make your way in. Try not to trip the alarm that is exactly to my right. You'll see the laser emanating every now and then. Despite all these little nooks and crannies, there's only one path to follow. And I'm not sure why you'd want to peek out there. 
But anyway, pop open the vent. There's some guards in here. You can you can mess with them. Uh, I wasn't sure if opening the vent would get their attention, but I guess not. So, anyway, that is one way to get in there and wreak some havoc uh, with your fists in case you're playing that kind of gameplay. Now back out into the lasers. I'm waiting to get tabs on the timing. I mean, I wouldn't set anything off by walking out here, but I just, you know, I want to have an idea of where that laser beam is. Just so I don't set anything off with my fat ass. Because it, it's, it's happened. It has happened. It's pretty sad. You know, Jensen, he looks like a, you know, thin, fit guy, but too many Krispy Kremes, man. Okay, so here you want to choose to go back the way I came, um, because I'm going to kind of move over. If you take this path, you're a little bit too close to the security office window, and I think that they'll spot you. I'm not entirely sure on that, but I didn't want to risk it, so again, just wait for the laser beam, and make your move back to this area we were just at. So the next part is making your way over to the center block, but just look at the floor. Don't look at anything else. And those are the lasers that you need to track. And if you'll notice, uh, the lowest rung of lasers get blocked by that center block you're heading towards. So you just need to kind of skirt right and left a little bit there to make sure that, uh, that you don't trip anything on your way through. So the main thing is notice how I did not hug the left wall of the previous cover that I was on. Cut out some footage here in just a second. I'm waiting for all the timings to line up. And right here, just jump, sprint, and you're through. And at this point, uh, I just need to open up the elevator door. And I'm trying to be really cautious here because you have to kind of move out in order to get the move icon to come up. So I didn't want the, once again, my fat ass to set off the camera. So, um, you know, that's, that's pretty much it for that section. That was a fantastic room, a lot of fun figuring that out. And uh, as you might expect, it's time for a cutscene. Uh, by the way, massive spoilers in this cutscene, so definitely, if you haven't played this Richard, far, don't watch I'm retrieving this. Retrieving Van Bruggen's evidence now. Is Sarah patched in? Right here, Adam. I'm listening. I just heard that your team is mobilizing in Detroit. Why wasn't I informed of this sooner? Tactical assignments are not your concern. Reed and her team have subdermal GPL implants. They'll be tracked. Kidnapping them was a mistake. Montreal took care of that. Forgive me if I don't put as much faith in our friend Eliza as you do. She's too erratic. Your concerns are noted, but I would advise you to concentrate on your own assignments instead of interfering with mine. Namir out. Boss, did you get that? I heard. I, I, I just... Megan and the others. They're alive. We've got to stay focused. Zawa's a residence at the top of the tower. It's off limits to everyone except her and her guards. Now get up there and find out what she knows. All right. So we are one more section through. There's a ghost. There's a smooth operator. And that is how that section is. I'm looking for anything that I could steal. Imagine that. Me wanting to steal stuff. And, yeah, from here on out, man, this, this level is friggin' awesome. I, I love it. So, pretty straightforward stuff. I think if you get caught by these lasers, um, you're kind of a noob. I, you know, I, I don't see how you could possibly trigger these things. <laughs> That's not nice. Anyway. Alright, so more stuff to hack. There's nothing here that can uh, spot you. I'm just trying to be overly cautious. So hack your way to grab some XP. Access granted. So yeah, this is a little bit of an update there. 
They of course know that the windmill got away. All because I gave him a revolver with about two bullets. Yeah. That pays off though. Definitely worth it to set him free. Although I'm a little bit curious. Uh, my next playthrough when I'm being a Rambo style, I'm going to be a complete asshole. Pretty much everyone's going to die. If not by my hand, I'm going to find ways for the NPCs to kill them. <laughs> Access granted. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just not going to be good. Not going to be healthy for anyone. Just going to look out for numero uno. This is uh, this is kind of a neat set of rooms. I was maybe hoping for like a one more guard or something, just to make it a little bit more hairy. But you got these uh, two guys and a camera to deal with. And I haven't really looked around at multiple avenues. To be honest, I'm just entering this room so I can come in here and hack the security terminal just for the XP. You can turn off the camera to make your life a little bit easier, but of course, that doesn't interest me with Zero Takedown. Ghost. Now, I'm not sure if they can look into this office and spot you, so you do want to keep track of where the guards are before you start hacking. Uh, unless I'm wrong, I mean, maybe you can go through here and just hack away without worrying about them spotting Access you, but... Granted. Yeah, so there's the camera controls. I'm going to leave it on. A lot more fun that way. Uh, this is a safe spot right here near the briefcase. Just in case they do spot you in here, I still have no idea. And... Looking for stuff to steal, nothing there. So I'm gonna head back across. It's a lot easier to approach this room, I think, from the uh, left-hand side. So I'm trying to get an idea of where that camera is. There it is, now I spot its path. I know there's a guard about to come, but I've got time to get across. And I think that one of the guards on the right his pathing will potentially have you spotted if you're on the other side going for that drawer. That's why I was being a little bit overly cautious. So I figured, well, in the meantime, I'll just hack this thing. Since I'm not quite sure. And I would rather just not be anywhere near his pathing that takes him near this drawer that I'm about to go open. The other thing I've noticed is that these drawers tend to be a little bit bugged when you put your mouse over them. They don't always trigger the uh, open icon, so... Again, I'm looking for that guard. He's not there. Yeah, so right here, I'm looking for a sweet spot to open this damn drawer. And now the fun begins. Time to make my way through it. I can see the one guard coming, so I got a small window here. He is on his way. Fortunately, he's Mind is a bat. So I'm just going to stick with these guards for a second. Um, you will probably be waiting here for quite some time if you are looking for the, the timing that I was. Uh, there might be a way to go a little bit earlier. Um, but these guards seem pretty observant when I was messing around with them earlier. So looking for the two guards to be walking away. And of course, the camera panning away. And you can, of course, just go right uh, across by those by the soda machine. But I wanted to grab that ebook. I was hoping to give me a scholar bonus. <laughs> I'm actually trying to pick up and find all those XP ebooks. So um, here, there's actually a couple. 
there's actually a better way to do this. I could have come into the room and uh, hid behind the conference table, I think. But I opted to sort of skirt the edge of the room. For some reason, I went forward, and I was like, well, that was silly. I could have just crossed the room, but whatever. So we're almost out of this section. We're basically just going to wait for these guards to come back so that we have a fresh path from which we can uh, escape. So cut some footage. Guards are leaving. They're both heading in the direction I want them to. Time to sneak out behind them. You just gotta watch out for the camera. And steal some credits, I think. Yeah, credits on the way out. Why not? And we're through. To China now is details about a bold maneuver by Biotech. Alright, so in this section, you've got one guard here that never turns around, so just you know, make faces at them, jump around. They actually don't jump around. You'll probably hear that, but... Um, I think you can come in here and steal stuff. That's always fun. Oh, okay, no. I uh, just remembered. Uh, behind this big box, you have a vent. And this is a way to get, the, to get to that security room. I don't know why I'm putting everything back. I'm literally coming back here in about five seconds. And I knew this... But, I don't know, I've been trying to be a little bit more, more focused on replacing stuff, so this is kind of fun little conversation. So, there are some lockers in there, definitely uh, worthwhile to punch those guys in the face if you're playing a takedown style of gameplay. And this is kind of important, you want to SWAT turn here, so that you can SWAT turn here. Let's see, there's the vent that I was just peeking out of watching that conversation, by the way. And there we go, the guards were looking away, lucky me. Now, there's a camera way up ahead, and you really need to kind of wait for it and get an idea of what its path is. It looks mostly to the left, so there's also a door you can hack over there. I think I'm going to skip it. And waiting for that camera one more time, because it will spot you at that range, so you need to be pretty careful. And this camera can be... Um, I was watching some other YouTube videos, and <laughs> a lot of people that get to this point, they whip out their stun gun, and they just zap the camera, which gives you, like, I think, what, about eight seconds or so? Five to eight seconds of uh, extra time, because the camera will be temporarily disabled. And while I guess that is technically an option for Zero Takedown Ghost, because it does not set off an alarm, um, and no one's around to hear it, so it's okay. But, you know, I, uh, I prefer to do things the old-fashioned way. By the way, yeah, if you punch through the wall there, it's pretty much trivial. Uh, completely trivializes what I'm about to do. So, hop out, close the door, cover our tracks. And there are a couple of different ways to get over here, but you want to get to this computer that I'm pointing at, pretty much. Because it has the door access code. And what I'm about to do does not afford you time to hack. Absolutely do not have time to hack. So, wait for the camera. Fortunately, you do not need to hack the computer. And just tab your way through it, grab that access code, you're going to need it. 
And I, I've, I found out right here that you can just back into the corner, the camera still will not see you. And I'm like, oh, a drawer, let me get that. There we go, 80 credits, why not? All right, so here's where the fun begins. Camera pans towards you, pans away. Don't, don't be too eager, and you go and hop behind the couch. Camera comes back. You can, uh, even though your head is visible, the camera will not see it, thank God. Because you need every second. And go. Enter the code, 6906. You're through. Open, 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 open. Whew. All right. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Don't, uh, don't get cocky. Wait for, wait for that camera to pan before you close that door. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for the camera one more time and it will see you through the glass by the way so you need to be a little bit careful you don't want to go straight for the button it will spot you and it'll be it'll be a very sad panda at that point man because all that work hey, getting in there <laughs> son of a bitch Van Bruggen? just thought you'd want to know I survived that little surprise party back at the hotel and I'm sailing away from this shithole sailing as we speak. Away. All because of you. You want to thank me? Forget you ever had this frequency. I got a better idea. I'm looking at your bank account right now, and... You know, Sarif really ought to pay you more. Van Bruggen? No need to thank me, man. Just... Enjoy it. <laughs> 2,000 credits? That, that's what I get for saving your life? Just 2,000 credits, dude? Come on. Come on, dude. All right, so yeah, this is one hell of a long elevator ride. Couldn't even give you any music. I'm kind of disappointed. Anyway, uh, yeah, everything got really quiet all of a sudden, and you see an exit door. Hmm, I wonder what that's a harbinger for. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pointing out a vent there, and grab stuff in the drawers. Hypo stem won't be needing it. And stuff to stun people with, won't be needing that either. I'm, I'm looking on this side of the room to see if I had missed anything, because I always sort of stuck to the side with a vent on it, so I was a little curious if I had missed something. Didn't look like it. Uh, I just don't also want to point out there's the vent entrance. McTavish denied the allegations. Now, this is, uh, you definitely want to hack this computer. Because you get these interesting emails to read, uh, especially one that has not been sent, that uh, Zhao was going to send. But, uh, apparently, people aren't quite happy with her performance and she's having to defend herself. So, imagine this, it's going to be a cutscene time. Uh, again, major spoilers. If you're watching this walkthrough, you might want to skip this part. Nice place you got here. Ah! Please! I wasn't... I didn't mean to! Where's Megan Reed? Reed? I... I don't know! Stop lying, Sal. I know you kidnapped her and her team. I know you're out to destroy Seraf Industries. Seraf? I also know you're working with that son of a bitch who left me to die. So where's Megan? No, no, you got it wrong. You think I'm behind it all, but I'm not. I'm just like you, the high hotel. You're the head of a billion dollar mega corporation. And you think that would protect me, but it doesn't. They control global Minor interests at there. a whim. I don't want to give everything One away. One call to Picus, and the implants couldn't be hurt. I thought they'd sent you so here's the important thing is you get the lead about Picus. You've got to help the me. news organization. Please. So. You've made it this far. Yeah, okay. Just Surely a little tip there, me. Adam. Surely. If you ever start getting felt up by a woman that just tried to kill you, Surely you she's not about to help you. Huh. Men never fail to underestimate women. Alright. Adam, what the hell did you do? The entire so when you get control back, alert. just sprint She's got a over panic. to the vent. Yeah, well, so do I. Forget about her right now. Get to the hangar bay, fast. So, ghost and smooth operator bonuses right there. Cannot get out alive. Period. So call this area on the phone and find his ass. 
Yeah. Find my ass. Yes, sir. Okay, so now we are in yet another situation, another sticky situation where it's time to get away from a bunch of guards. The good news is, notice how you can get right up to vents when they're closed and just peek out and get a good assessment. So now this is really important, I want to point this out. I think just opening the vent, no matter where you open it from, how hidden you are, they will notice that it opens up. Because you notice, you'll see on the radar, one guy's going to be about to get really close. He just walks right up to it. So um, there are two options here. You can open it, and if the timing is exactly right, you can actually come out and start making your way over to the right, towards the exit, and he won't spot you. But it's a little bit easier if you just wait him out like this. And got some footage, waiting, waiting, waiting. Everyone's back, it's turn, I'm coming out. I did not close that vent, because I'm terrible. That's okay. The timing's pretty tight in here, so. You know, don't uh, don't punch yourself in the balls if you forget to close the vent. I mean, they already know I'm here, quite frankly. Leaving a vent open is not really my huge concern. So, this is a safe spot in this room. You can wait it out, and what you're looking for is uh, there's a guy that patrols up and down stairs. He's at the far end right now, on my on my left, excuse me. And as soon as he turns around, you can SWAT turn and then hop over here. This is another safe spot. So you might think that the guy that's on the far right might see you, but he does not. And this guy conveniently stops just before he would spot you too. He's closest to me now, so. Um, just wait for them, everyone to turn away, and I suggest stopping here, simply because uh, you can get spotted if you're trying to just hightail it all the way out of the room. So, just kind of do it in pieces like this, if you're if you're worried, and you can make your way through, and it's time to get a buttload of bonuses. <laughs> Jensen, I'm coming to pick you up. You anywhere near their hangar bay? I'm heading there now. Great. Get those bay doors open or this rescue attempt ain't gonna happen. Another ghost and smooth operator. Time to move along. So on the right-hand side, there's a locker with some rifle ammo. I don't need it, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, basically, in this room, you just want to wait for the bots to path close to you once you get to this point, because we're going to just hop pretty much straight past them. You also have two cameras on the far end of the room, and you need to really keep track of their path. So the bots are really slow. When they get into range, they automatically cause an alarm state, so don't be freaked out by that. That's normal. And once the bot has passed you like this, and the cameras aren't looking at you, just hop over here, man. It is the easiest route. Now, here you need to have the ability to uh, jump high, but I think most people would have it at this point. There's some ammo there if you need it, but I don't, so just hop over the railing, and you're pretty much safe at this point. I don't know if the cameras would spot you, so I'm kind of being a little bit cautious. Um, trying to make sure that in case the camera does pan over here, I'm not going to get spotted trying to come up the uh, staircase. So, uh, at this point, you're pretty much home free. Again, I'm just being overly cautious about the cameras. And the doors are even hacked for you already. So, once you get to this point, you're pretty much done with the level. Um, assuming that you have the ability to disable bots. If you don't, then you're kind of screwed. <laughs> because if you throw an EMP, as the bot explodes, he'll become hostile. And I don't know for sure, but I, th you know, I, I think that might be considered killing something by your hand, and you lose out on the Steam achievement. Um, I'm sure that's an Xbox achievement too, but... Um, just wanted to call that out. Uh, this computer doesn't really have anything useful except for the interesting thing of Madame Zhao's uh, itinerary, which can be handy, I guess. So here again, wait for the bots to start pathing away from you, and make your way across. I don't think you even have to swat turn here, but hey, you know what? I like looking nifty. 
Um, and again, you know, if, if you don't have the ability to disable bots, then I don't know how you would get through this without destroying them or... Uh, yeah, I, that's, I don't know what you would do, so... Uh, let's go ahead and hack this terminal, and you're pretty much done. It's level 2. It's pretty easy stuff. You can guess that it's going to um, set off an alarm at some point, but we'll see. Yeah, but you get like you get like 30 Thank seconds if you hit a spam. So just disable the bots, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the cameras because it's pretty obvious that I've been here since they are of course hunting for me. That's gonna be the only trace I leave behind is two disabled bots and two disabled cameras, and I figure that's enough of a fuck you to these people. So, um, time to leave. You gotta go go back across uh, the catwalk here in order to open the. Hangar bay doors, and we're on our way out. So, uh, fantastic level, absolutely fantastic stuff that I just put together. I thoroughly enjoyed this. So, uh, here's the all-important ghost and smooth operator bonuses for a whopping 3,250 XP. So, go ahead and jump off and head over to the heli. Uh, heli. Now, I think if, if you want to play this in a very uh, aggressive style, underneath the platform, I think there's like a rocket launcher or something like that. So, uh, and you're safe from a lot of the a lot of the uh, incoming fire. Jensen, time to hightail it back to Detroit. Get in. We're not going to Detroit. What? We're going to Montreal. I'll explain on route. So Damn that right. concludes Taeyong Medical fantastic level and the next up will be the dreaded Pikes communications which I have a little treat in store stay tuned